Who's the American dream is still alive. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Star 103.5 FM Sports Chat. My name is Jones, ADZ, and I am here in the company of Nana Ama and Jemai. Nana Ama, the dream is still alive. Oh, it's, it's very much alive. And welcome from Kumasi. Thank you, thank welcome, you, thank you, welcome. thank you. How, how, how was your trip to Kumasi? Kumasi? Kumasi, they've shown me that they love football. Sa? I actually, people keep saying it that, see, Kumasi is the home of football. Mm. I actually doubted it. So I have it's your first time. It was your first yes, time. Yes, oh. to watch them play football there. Oh, okay. And I've seen and I've tasted and I have a testimony. Hey. <laughs> Kumasi, <laughs> for why are there? Why are there? They've done so. So I mean, at the first first half, Ghana was losing two one. Yeah. Um, they boot they boot the players right. But why do they do that? Charlie, they don't Charlie, have patience. Charlie, hey, patience. Yeah, I call USA. Did you watch that <laughs> video? Did you watch the USA. video? USA, USA, USA. <laughs> so I mean. And then it started raining. So I thought that Charlie, these people, they would go. They would go. Mm. But they were still there. The Jama was horn. He's Baba. He's Baba. And then Jordan are you? Your senior man. Yes. Your senior man. My senior man. At least we have it on record. You 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 told us that he always comes I'm for a us. Prophetess. And I'm both a prophetess. games, he has shown that he is the man. There's what to come. This is just the beginning. Nana, let's start agenda this morning. Jordan or Baby Jet? <laughs> As a one giant all day, every day. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. But, it, but, but do you think that Jordan has uh, uh, silenced the critics? Oh, yes, yeah. he has. Yeah. He has. Finally. Even he, he has gone beyond everything to mm. silence them. And I'm, I'm so happy. That is what everybody is supposed yeah. to do. Yeah. If people are talking and, and, and about then, you, just keep you know, quiet he, and let your work do the talk. Yes. And he was emotional when Oreo yeah. um, Kwampu asked him about how, you know, believing in himself. And he, 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 he's, I, I think you played that for yeah, listeners yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was very, very emotional. I was like, and, yeah. he, as a, you're not supposed to give up. Yeah. You know, I'm like, Charlie, oh, you know it's more motivation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll start, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll start using that as motivation for <laughs> listeners. So, the Black Stars of Ghana, uh, they have moved back to the second position yesterday because Comoros, they beat Chad. Yeah. Yes. Comoros. So, Comoros to Charlie. Uh, uh, yesterday, I was like, Comoros cry. What the hey. what the world going to do for World Cup? Hey. Comoros. World Cup. Charlie, make we go. Because Comoros. Before the American dream, no. It's, it's so let me we forgo. <laughs> so they beat Chad 2-0, and it means that Comoros are now on top with nine points. Mm. They have a better goal difference than Ghana, right? Four goals, and Ghana has plus two goals. Okay. So Comoros are on top. And then interestingly, Madagascar and Mali played out a draw. Mm. Zero zero. Eight. That's good for Ghana. Very, 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 very good, good for Ghana. So Madagascar will now have seven points, Mali five, Central African Republic four. And then Chad six. So guess what? Interestingly, the coach of Central African Republic, Raul, was very, 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 very. And you know agitated. the last time he yes. was in, he cares Ghana. He cares Ghana. Ghana. He cares Ghana. And the so. cares work. <laughs> and this time around, he didn't come uh, for the post match. Yeah, because, because of referee decisions. Uh, but you, uh, see, I'm, I'm Ghanaian, but yeah. some of the decisions no, they really made. No, we're lucky. No, we're lucky. No, let, let's let's say we're lucky. Because we watch the Premier League, right? Mm, and yeah. we see that even in the Premier League, they need VAR yeah. to help the referees. Yeah, very so true. we don't have the luxury of that yet. Mm. So we can't say that the referee, no, give him that and help him. So please, we won. You won. We yeah, won. Yeah, yeah, you are saying this because you are then, Ghanaian. It was to be the other way around. Like the go here out. So I mean, I mean, I, I can understand how he feels, but yeah. then it, it calls because. I hope even, he doesn't curse us in his room. Oh, let him curse. And for <laughs> this time, then for the US. They walk up, they go, go qualify go. you. We will qualify. They, they, oh, I have no doubt. Yeah. That I, Ghana will qualify. Yes. But when we get there, and that is the problem. If we get there, no. The problem is, will the fans come back? And they are seven. Oh, they, 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 some will come. Maybe they five will come. Hey. Oh, I will come. You sure? Oh, I sure. I have a lot of things here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's start from um, RTU. So RTU are going to play Dreams this afternoon are supposed to play mm -hmm. and rumors i mean unconfirmed reports suggest that our two players won the boycott that match I, I mean they have nothing to lose they have been relegated the, yeah and see but the professionalism no uh, oh i, I yeah. get it yeah. but, but you can't blame them they have been on five months charlie they have been playing working yeah. without salary yeah you can't blame them the and they know that if they go on relegation they are not going to get their yeah. money so the only way they, they can, is to boycott mm, or and and a you know that puts the club in in in, in a, a tight position because they would be fine. But and why, all why that. do club owners do that? If you know you don't have money, why start a football club in the in the first place? Five months, they have Sorry. families. Yeah, they have they have a lot of things, responsibilities yeah. to take care of, yeah. and yeah. you expect them to show up at training 
train, go and play. And I, I am not surprised they have been relegated. Because money, they need mm, money it's, to it's, motivate it's, themselves. It's, yeah. Well, so they are supposed to play Dream FC mm. today at 3 p.m. Maybe, maybe they will be banned or something. Yeah. yeah uh, well, well I mean, um, we'll, we'll get to see what uh, GFA will do about that. Mm. So I hope it's not true. Maybe they should be paid mm. two months or something so that they can pay. I mean, that's what they demanded for. At least they give us two. Just give uh, us two months. But they have months. a lot of wealthy people in Tamale. What is this? They hey, are disgracing the people of okay. Tamale. Hey, ah. hey. They're big, big men. Tamale, people, they give me support. Let's is is not from the vice president? Please, I don't want to go there. He donated 500,000 Ghana cities to the Blasters on Monday morning. And Real Tamale, ah, he bought them a bar, so. Yeah. And so he's going to give them money again. They are in need. I'm sure he's listening to yes, you now. Yes, please. Vice it, it, president. It, presidential candidates for the MPP, please. Real Tamale United, they need money. Go give them money. <laughs> <laughs> You all right, still on the Premier League. Basake Holy Stars, they've been confirmed as winners of zone two in the division one league after some delay. Uh, of course, caused from prote protest issues. Hmm. The club from the Western region will now play in the Ghana Premier League next season. Their confirmation was delayed after protest issues involving century all stars and then Kim Faisal made six points and certain for them. However, the GFA has cleared all the protest issues and six points for in their labs, taking them above new Edubiasi, who also stood a chance of qualifying from the zone. So, Holy Stars joined Vision FC, Young Apostles, and as the new boys in the Ghana Premier League next season. Mm. Congratulations to Basaki. Oh, Holy Division Stars. 1, yeah. home of protest. Every Charlie. season. Every, Every single, single season. season. Every season. Oh. But then, I mean, if you follow the rules, oh, it won't go against you. So, I don't want to say you don't want to say. Say. Don't, don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Now, the whole sports stadium and to the Volta region, yes, the whole sports stadium is set to finally get a facelift after so many years of neglect. The patron of Home Stars FC, Mr. Joe Aivo, who whose team currently use uh, the stadium in the Division 1 League, says he has plans with the new NSA boss to give the stadium a facelift. So let's get to listen to um, the man speak. He is the life patron of Homestars. The new sports director came to me and then we made our plans. So we were just waiting for the end of the season. So when the season ends, we will judge all and see how best we can put the pitch into good shape for good football to flow. So that was Mr. Joe Aivo, um, patron of Homestars who are in home. See, the whole sports stadium was built in the 1960s. And it has been neglected since. It has seen little or no improvement in terms of facilities, even though teams use them. Mm. Government upon government will come, promise, go, promise, go, promise, go. And if you see the seats, the seats there are from the old age time. That's now, there, there's a part of the stadium that has no seats at all. And the pitch, there's a video on my Twitter handle. I've pinned it there. I took that video myself. When... It rains. It gets so bad. Very, very bad that mm -hmm. you can see water on the pitch. And to recent times that home stars needed to uh, play in a Division 1 and then they took care of the pitch. But then the, the, the stadium ha, ha, has, has seen, I mean, little or no improvement ah, at but all. But if my memory serves me right, yeah. I think I saw it in the government's uh, no, no, so, so, stadium uh, that they built. No, so it's, it's I know they different. have a national no, term that different. they have ne yes. ne neglected. It's it's different. There, there's a whole sports stadium, mm -hmm. and there's the youth resource center. Right. That is close to Adaklu. When you get to Ho, there's a mountain, Adaklu Mountain. Yes. I don't know who. I've not. I've never. Don't been worry. There. I'll take you to Ho uh, okay. when the, the season ends. Okay. And and that as for the youth resource center, it's a different story. It has also been neglected. Yeah. Last year, the seat of match was held there last year right i've seen videos of it yes the president came everything was beautiful and, and I, no i'm sure when they, they they knew that they were going to have the set of match yeah whatever, they renovated the place oh no after, i mean it was built i mean i mean it was built for that purpose right after that we have gone back to the four settings it has not been completed the basketball pitch not no it, it is not there right uh volleyball nada hmm. and as for the pitch itself i have a video of it myself i went there took videos just that it is we are still cooking it we are still cooking it and it is bad that where the stadium is situated is far away from town no one can have sports there no one can have sports there the gate is sports. see it is just sad it's just so as for the the, the, the people of who um we've been, i've been speaking to them 
would get to bring that hey. uh, that that story hey. on radio and then face, on TV. Face it's of very bad. It's face very, of who we it's, see you. It's, it's very bad. No, I mean okay. it's, it's very very bad that since 1960 the yeah. stadium has has seen so much uh, neglect. See, we have a problem with our maintenance. And and, and it, and it uh. takes and it takes someone who owns a club that okay, I want to put my money into it. I hope he doesn't yeah. regret. Well, I mean, he has a club uh, in the Division One league, and then they need to be the the standards and then the requirements of of, of the mm. stadium. So I hope he doesn't regret yeah. one day because Ghana I mean, football. Yeah, is it, that bad? Is that bad? Then it's he's very bad. rich, and he oh, has, yeah, yeah, he has yeah, to yeah. pay his players too. Oh, he does. He does. Please okay. ask for home stars. They pay players okay. well. Big, all, the, big, all the best big, in their endeavors. Big, big shout out to all the, the, the people from home, the home stars people. Hmm. They, they, they had a brilliant season in the Division 1 league. That's nice. Yeah, let's yeah, see how then, it pans yes, out. Yes. All right. Let's move to the Euros. And the Euros are upon us. Who are you tipping to win the Euros? France. <laughs> <laughs> e. Prophetess. France. You go try better now. Fra yes. You sure? France. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so uh, let's give listeners um, all the groups and their uh, group members. So group A has Germany, of course. They are the host. Mm. Germany. They have Hungary. Hungary. People say we should call it Hungary. 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 Mm. And Scotland, Switzerland, they make group A. In group B, we have Albania, Croatia, Italy, and Spain. It is a very, very tough group. Mm. Albania, Croatia, Italy, and Spain. Now, Group C has Denmark, England, Serbia, and then Slovenia. We would see Group D, Austria, France, your favorite to win the, yeah. league, uh, the championship. So, Austria, France, Netherlands, and Poland make Group D. And then Group E sees Belgium, Romania, Slovakia, and Ukraine. And finally, Group F, Turkey, Czech Republic, Portugal. They are my favorite to win. Portugal are my favorite to win. And then Georgia, uh, also there in group f there so these are the teams in group f well you are tipping france to win oh but i, I mean <laughs> i have a soft spot for um cristiano ronaldo yeah and yesterday he scored yes yes, 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 yes. So, let, let, oh. let's, let's, let's just talk about cristiano ronaldo who scored a fine double ass classy portugal signed off uh before euro 2024 by comfortably beating republic of Ireland in Portugal now. Joao Felix opened the scoring in the match change Portugal side in the first half, killing home after the host caught the Republic out with a short corner. Ronaldo then fired an unstoppable effort in the top corner early in the second half and doubled his tally with a sweeping finish on the hour mark. Yesterday's double means Ronaldo has 130 international goals with Portugal and 895 career goals. It means he's just five goals away from 900 goals. Charlie. Charlie. He's not a human being. Hey. Nah. Hey. Nah. Cristiano Ronaldo. I, I know Messi fans are listening to Oh, please. To you. The greatest of all time. Mm. He's the real definition. Forget Messi. Hey. Yeah. 39 years old. Charlie. Uh, so, so you, we you, are coming. They are coming. Eh? Are so coming. you think if France uh, doesn't win the Euros, Portugal can? Yeah. England, yeah. yeah. Mm. We, 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 hey. They should go and sit somewhere. You've mentioned England. <laughs> so England manager Gareth Southgate says Euro 2024 could be his last chance to win a trophy with the Three Lions. The 53-year-old has been in charge since 2016, taking his side to the 2018 World Cup semi-finals, the Euro 2020 finals, and the 2022 World Cup quarter-finals in Qatar. His contract is due to expire in December, but the Football Association is keen for him to remain as manager for the next World Cup in 2026 in the usa canada and mexico however according to southgate failure to win a trophy in germany could see the end of his stay there oh watch a crowd watch yeah. it watch it 2016 i mean yeah watch it for sure working of course yes something course. something because for if the people believe in you they have given you the job for a very long time um you should at least win something for them yeah so i mean he has to go if he doesn't win the trophy mm -hmm. which they are not going to win so he has to prepare himself. He's going. Well, well, yeah. le let's see. Let's see. You, you, you think England cannot win. So let's move to Eric Ten Hag. And <laughs> Eric Ten Hag will remain as manager of Manchester United following a postseason review by the club's board. United and Ten Hag are said to be aligned after the club's end of season review, a process which lasted longer than two weeks and saw other ma managers sounded out for the role. However, the conclusion from the review was that Ten Hag should remain in charge and negotiations have begun over a contract extension for the Dutch man. And finally, finally, Germany midfielder Tony Cruz says his Real Madrid teammate 
Jude Bellingham is a complete package and can handle the weight of English expectations at the Euro 2024. Cruz played alongside him, uh, who is 20 years, as Real Madrid won the Champions League final at Wembley. And the veteran says the English midfielder carries himself in a way which he believes can help the team probably win the tournaments there. You think Bellingham can, can oh, yeah, carry yeah, the yeah, team? Yeah, yeah. Uh, last Friday, I was having a conversation with someone, and yeah. I mentioned, we were talking about the Ballon d'Or, yeah. and I mentioned that can Jude Bellingham win the Ballon d'Or, and he's like, oh, no, nah, he's too young. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of things to offer, so we should give him time. I yeah. mean, he has proven beyond doubt. I mean, since he left Dortmund to Real Madrid, he has done well, scored yeah. incredible goals. Yeah. I mean, uh, he has scored done well. against Barca. Yeah, mm. big teams. Yeah, so he, he's the next big thing. Yeah, uh, he, I mean, he's the he's the he's the, he's the, he's the, the big next thing biggest, now. biggest biggest player hey. apart from Ronaldo and Messi. Messi. I mean, you think so? Oh yeah, he, he has that talent. Yeah, yeah, he, he's not just there. a two season wonder. Or no, something. no, 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 no. Well, let's see. Time will tell. Yeah. Time will tell. Yeah. Quickly before we go, Kudus. <laughs> Kudus has been on Twitter and he decided to show. The other side of himself. See, si. and so let let listeners understand that Kudus has come out to reply. People who have criticized him after their game on Monday. I mean, what do you make of that? See, si, let me tell you, I'm 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 so happy. I'm so happy, You're happy that, that Kudus yeah. replied them. See, si, apart from everything, they are human beings. Mm. They have blood flowing through their veins. Yeah. You go on the internet and you say terrible things about players. Do you know how that affects them? You think that they are, they are, or they are superhuman or whatever. They don't feel, or they don't read. It, it doesn't affect them in any way. Yeah. This is a player. You people call, okay, he is the star boy. Mm. Yes, oh, Kudus, oh, so, so, the so some, of the some, team. some of the comments were, yeah. you people for talk Kudus, the truth. He's not messy. And uh, neither is he Ronaldo? He should stop doing too much and release the ball quickly. And Kudus replied, Massa, shut the F up. Thank then, you. Then uh, another one says, I think the hype is getting into the head of Mohamed Kudus now. Bro, play the ball like you play for West Ham for F6. And then he replied that nobody they beg you for hype. Sean the fool. <laughs> now another <Energy>. one, <laughs> Mohamed Kudus needs to be talked to. What kind of selfishness and unnecessary ball control is that? And then he replied, Kudus replied that, come and talk to me yourself. Exactly. And come then finally, and, face me. and finally, uh, someone replied and said, bro, you shouldn't have done that. Just ignore and be of your best. And then he finally replied that sometimes you need to tell them, bro. Yes. They sit behind keyboards and be and doing like dumb stuff. So Kudus has gone... Here I am. I'll say Charlie today. Yeah. He should be giving the, uh, giving it to them back. To but back. Then, do, do you think if we had lost, he, he would have been able to reply? Oh yeah. If we had lost. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah. Charlie. This is somebody it's who. It's an American dream. <laughs> American dream now. This year, bro. But I understand the players. Yeah. The people too. Sometimes. Yeah. No, I understand the people too. No, see, no, no. They do see, that all the time. Criticism see, would always no, come. I, I, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a player who has always scored for the Black Stars. Yeah. So if just in two games. He, he has had a bad really, game. What? I mean, of course, sometimes his 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 uh, uh, um, selfishness gets they us goals. They all make mistakes. No, Come no, it's not. It's, a it's, lot of I'm, the players My, my do point that. is that mm -hmm. sometimes the selfishness we are talking about gets us goals. I, exactly. Yeah, so you so, have to try. Yeah. What they will say? Oh, Uncle Pasi, my way, Uncle Beshe. What shows? Yeah. So I mean, it's, it's true. Let's let's allow let's him to enjoy. Let's cut some enjoy. slack, Charlie, okay? Charlie. Right now, the players are on, are on vacation. Please allow them to rest. Mm. Leave them alone. Don't write anything about them. Stop bullying them on. Uh, yeah. Twitter or wherever. Leave them. Let them live their lives.